really trying to just keep my head above water. I'm just like, what the f am I doing? What the f am I doing? I mean, there's only one way to find out if I can have it or not, right? Oh my God, it's so good. Gentle. Who's that bitch that went to jail for fraud? Martha Stewart. I thought, how funny would it be if I went as a tube of Ozempic? You should just put the fabric around a fridge and then put a zipper in it and that will fit me. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Jacob. I am a beauty boy turned beauty boss, influencer, and makeup artist, and business owner. I create a lot of vlog content as well as makeup tutorials. So if that is your vibe, be sure to subscribe. I'm gonna kill myself. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I am running some errands today and I thought I would take you guys along with me. And by running errands, I mean that we're going to an appointment and get my hair cut. But anyway, I don't think you guys are ready for this OOTD. Ready? Oh my god. OOTD. I think it's just giving eshe. So I'm like, yeah, do you know what? I'm gonna go with my house, which is lovely woman. I get my hair cut every two weeks. I know that that sounds like a lot, but obviously my hair's quite short and it grows out quite quickly. So yeah, this gorgeous fade will be gone in like three days. But anyway, I'm just currently updating Aubrey on a couple of things. So I was just having a look at our Instagram feed, right? I feel like as you scroll down, there is a lot of like, I love how much of the studio you can see. The aesthetic is quite colorful and bright. There's some funny videos. That I feel like we haven't been posting a lot of makeup over the last maybe like three weeks or so. See if we can kind of jumble around some of our content that's already planned, if we can push that back and then we can have some makeup content in for this week just to keep it a little bit more cohesive. Spend the rest of the day just chilling out, playing video games. I might jump on World of Warcraft, I don't know. Like That's honestly one of the things that I was doing while I was recovering. So nerdy, I know, but like my brother and I used to play it like when we were kids. It's very nostalgic and it's just familiar. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just need something familiar that you know then to constantly be like watching new shit or whatever it is. I don't know if you guys have seen this on TikTok, but it's like, you know, well, what would your perfect day be as a nine-year-old? And so I've been trying to incorporate that on my days off. Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, which means that it is my admin day. Right now, I'm just about to start doing payroll, which is so exciting, I know. We just got the nicest Google review and I wanna share it with you guys. So this is from Belinda. Hi, Belinda, if you're watching. She said, Denisha created the look that I wanted. My makeup was flawless and it lasted all night. She made me feel so comfortable and was very professional. Highly recommend her service. So nice, so, so sweet. There's like over a hundred Google reviews and they're all five stars. Thank God. If you guys know someone who runs a small business or you are a small business yourself, Google reviews are the most important thing because the more reviews that you have, the higher you rank on Google. After every single appointment, we have like a follow-up that gets emailed out to our clients saying, thanks so much for coming in. We have these other services available. It means so much to us if you could write a review, help our small business, that kind of thing. And that's how we've gotten most of our reviews. Usually I would be doing this at the studio. However, I didn't have too good of a night last night. Dinner did not agree with me. I think at the moment minced meat is my Achilles heel. It's not working for me. Every time I have had it, it just, it doesn't digest. It doesn't go down. But regular meat does. So stupid, I know. I'm just about to start doing payroll. We use Zero Connect Team. I also use Remitly and Square. They're the main four apps that I use to do, you know, bank reconciliations, payroll, superannuation, BAS statements, timesheets, and also to get an idea of how much revenue we made last week so that way I can transfer 10% of that into my GST account. It's a lot, it's a lot, girl. So an issue that we've been having is that all of our mirrors, like our handheld mirrors, missing. We don't know <laughs> where they go. If you guys have been to the studio, on the pause table, we have like a cute little like arch thing with like our business cards and our square reader sits on it. And so I know that the girl who does them also does handheld mirrors, like custom handheld mirrors. I thought it'd be really cute if we could get some like this, like an arch, our treatment rooms and for like when we do makeovers and stuff. I'm looking on Etsy at the moment and they're about $65 each mirror. Yeah. Find something to eat. I really want a piece of toast, but I'm really scared. Should I try it? I mean, there's only one way to find out if I can have it or not, right? We are taking it super Aussie today. Butter and Vegemite. Oh my God, it's so good. Seems to be going down. 
I love you. <laughs> Good boy. I think this is my favorite place in the entire world. I have to get another tray for the fourth treatment room because this time last year we didn't have one. This is the exact one that I got last time. The slim line. It's now only a hundred dollars. Like what? Oh, they've got nicer stars this year. I got these ones last year. I'm going to get the same, maybe like a smaller. I just want everything here. <laughs> I could literally spend my life savings, all four dollars of it. I may have spent more than I needed to, but it doesn't matter. Hi! Hi! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Do you want a carrot? Gentle. Good boy. You know where to go. The weather today is glorious. The sun is shining, my hay fever's kicking my asshole. It's just I actually purchased some wrapping paper so I can wrap up all of the girls' presents for Christmas. We are having our Christmas party quite early this year. We usually have it in November. December is just a write off for all of us. We just can't make it work in December because we are always so busy and we're usually working till about nine o'clock every night in December. We're having our Christmas party in the last week of November. November. I'll show you what I bought them because I think they're so cute. First, I need to make some lunch. So, I've been making this for the last two days now and I am obsessed. Starting out with some Sedana tuna, of course, in oil, da. I'm gonna chuck that all in. This will probably last me like two to three meals, give or take. Next up, cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna grab all, quickly rinse them, and I'm gonna slice these up quite small. Brown onion or white onion, whatever you prefer. I know it is quite strong, so I like to keep it at a minimum. Roughly kind of slice this up. Chuck that in. Avocado, my absolute favorite. Let's just chuck in the rest of this. Obviously, the more avocado, the better. It makes everything really creamy and like easy to digest. Obviously, fresh basil. You guys know that basil is the bane of my existence. I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of quinoa. It's been described to us as like the most similar to rice without it being rice, while still introducing carbs into our diets. Olive oil, salt, and then of course, Miss Lemon. You could honestly add like white vinegar to this if you really wanted to, but I am just a slut for lemon. First bite, bestie. So refreshing. Also the mortine being right there is such a typical wog thing. The mortine is always everywhere. The laundry, mortine. The kitchen bench underneath the sink, mortine. Outside the back, mortine. Everywhere. For the girls' Christmas presents, I came across these t-shirts on this website and I was like, this is perfect. For Mel, she's our nurse and our skin girl and her brand color is gray. I got her this, that's just like a cute little t-shirt, but then on the back, skin therapist. 100% stress-free, 100% hydrated, like so cute. For D, I got brow artist. Everything on the back. For Aubrey, I got designer because she is literally our designer. And I ordered these before I even had my surgery. So mine is not gonna fit. For Steph's, of course, I had to get her pink. Hers is nail tech, as you can see. So they're really, really cute t-shirts. And then for myself, I think I got makeup artist. Makeup artist. Maybe this could be like a, a a bed t-shirt. It's really big, really oversized. Yeah, this is not gonna fit me. But anyway, I also got Dee a little extra something. I got her the painted basic canvas palette because she's been using it so much. She has been absolutely loving it. So I thought I would get that for her as well. I think that's cute. Look at that. That is why Jesus died on the cross. Christmas is like the one time of the year I just love so much because I love giving presents. And even just like small little things like these, like they're just t-shirts. But I just think that it's so nice when someone thinks of something that you would like. And sometimes they get it wrong. Sometimes they get it wrong. The girls might be like, it's the fucking ugliest t-shirt I've ever seen in my life. It's the thought that counts, you know what I mean? Are my wrapping skills the best? Absolutely not. It was a 
stop me from thinking that I am. Who's that bitch that went to jail for fraud? Martha Stewart. Look at how cute these turned out. So cute, I love them so much. Good morning everyone, it is Tuesday. I have got some errands to run before work today, okay? I need to go to Knife Point, AKA High Point, to get a image printed onto like some kind of fabric. That way I can then put it on another piece of fabric. Okay, let me show you. I do have Mal's Halloween party slash birthday party on the weekend and everyone needs to dress up. So I thought how Funny would it be if I went as a tube of Ozempic? <laughs> I find it so weird when people record themselves crying. This is just really hard. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't been able to eat. And like, you don't realize how much food affects you, but it affects you physically, mentally. Like, it's it's everything, right? I'm just like, what the f am I doing? What the f am I doing? This is just part of healing. It's part of the process. It takes time really trying to just keep my head above water, keep it pushing while still giving myself the grace of recovery and taking my time. Hi Kenji. I know that I need to just allow myself time to heal. I'll be looking back at this and you know things will be so much different. Things are gonna get easier and this is just the worst part of it. It's, oh it's just fucking hard. There's just been so much build up. Part of me apologizes that you had to say that but the other part of me is like it's fine real life so suck it up if any of you have been watching my channel for any length of time you know that i will always show you the good the bad and the ugly and sometimes you just need a moment you know but it definitely felt like i've needed that cry all year if i'm being honest i honestly can't remember the last time i had like a little menti be like that close to a year if not a year definitely just needed to like let it out you know, let the bird fly. Tonight we're going to Chinese. Really glad that I tried Chinese on the weekend because it worked well. Like there weren't any issues, digestion and that kind of thing. It went down really well. So today is Thursday and mum and I are currently creating my Halloween costume. A little ghost or a witch or a mouse. No, nah, it was empty. The things he makes me do. <laughs> <laughs> you should just put the fabric around a fridge and then put a zipper in it and that will fit me. <laughs> also, might just quickly throw in, we might be looking for a new team member soon. Me and Dee aren't going anywhere, don't worry, but we are looking at expanding our team potentially in the new year. So if you guys are interested or know someone who would be interested, please follow me on Instagram, be sure to Keep an eye out. For those who don't know, Dee is also a mum. She has a four-year-old. So does Aubrey, actually. Uh, two people that I've hired are both mums. And there's something really, really rewarding about knowing that you're helping them contribute to their family. Like, so nice. Hello, so it is now Saturday night. I am just getting ready to head to Mal's Halloween party, which I'm so excited about. And I thought I'd just give you a little rundown on what I'm wearing on my face because I feel like my face looks really, really flawless. I'm actually not wearing any foundation at all. I've got concealer under my eyes. I've got bronzer on, a little bit of better tint blush. Sports got complexion wand. Um, I do not know what shade this is, but you guys know how much I love these. I also set down really, really well with the Rimmel. <laughs> What's this even called? Stay matte. Which I know is not very Charlotte Tilbury of me. I'm gonna finish off with the Benefit Professional Super Setter. It's not an alcohol-based setting spray, so it won't technically keep your makeup on longer, like your Cryoline Fixing Spray or your One Size Until Dawn, but this contains powder. So you need to give it a really, really good shake. And then it does help to kind of just melt everything in, but also mattify at the same time. So I'm actually gonna pop some more hairspray in because it is an outdoor event. And if it gets windy, nothing moving. Okay, let's give you a little update on where I'm at with recovery. So six, five weeks post-op now. I, as of today, hit 18 kilos down, which is like mind boggling. I have gotten back down to the weight that I was at the beginning of last year, but like just before I opened my studio. It feels really, really good. And like, I'm wearing this outfit right now. I'm wearing like this. That I could only fit into if I wore 
like Spanx. This is actually the outfit that I wore for the announcement of the Academy. And um, in that video, I was wearing, I think like two pairs of Spanx. Feels good to not have to do that and to still be comfortable in this, that's for fucking sure. It's little things like that, that I'm like, ooh, this actually fits nicely without having to like restrict myself. Very excited to be in the double digits soon. That's gonna be a, a moment, a crazy, crazy moment. Last night we had Mel's Halloween slash birthday party. So some photos now, boom, 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 boom. Mel is one of the most extra people that I know, which I love about her. She named me best dressed. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Be sure to subscribe and all of that good shit. And I will see you guys in the next one.